Hi guys! So today we're going to be making bubble snakes. Um, this is a real fun thing to do outside and since it's supposed to be nice and sunny this week, we're going to be making some bubble snakes. Um, this is also, if you're a little bit younger, this is a really easy way to blow lots of bubbles. Um, if you're not so good with blowing bubbles through a bubble wand. But, let's get started. Um, for this craft, you'll need some scissors or a craft knife. If you're a little bit younger, you might need a little bit of help with this craft. Um, you also need a rubber band or a piece of string, a bottle of some sort. Um, if you use one that is, it doesn't matter the size, but if you use one that's a little bit smaller, then you can use something like a sock rather than having to get a big sheet of fabric. Um, so I have a soda bottle here. A uh, soda bottle ha is a little bit thicker plastic, so it'll be a little bit harder to cut. So if you have something like a thinner water bottle, that might be a little bit easier. But, as I said before, it doesn't really matter what type of bottle you're using. And then over here, I have two different ways that you can make the cover part. I have a washcloth, and I also just have an old sock. You could also use a piece of a old t-shirt that you cut up. Um, I'll talk about that later, but this is just a piece of fabric to go over the end of your bottle. So let's actually get started with this. So first things first, we are going to take our bottle and we're going to cut off the bottom. And it doesn't really matter how far up you go. Um, I think I'm going to cut mine right here just because that's the smallest circumference so I'll have to cut the least amount but if you're using like a thinner water bottle you could cut it like right at the end and have a nice long part or you could cut it like in the middle doesn't matter um, I would say that at the very least though you want about that much because we need a little bit of room to rubber band our fabric over the top so I'm gonna go ahead and take my scissors and for me I'm just gonna Step. Oh, I should take the take the cap off so that it doesn't explode. And I'm just gonna stab down. Oh, come on. And this is where, if you have a craft knife, it actually is probably a little bit easier because it's easier to stab. Okay. So, that's done after a little bit of struggles. This part, um, we aren't going to use anymore. You can use it for whatever you want. If you have a nice little cup like I do, um, this is a nice little pot for if you want to plant some seeds. You can put a little bit of soil in, poke a couple, or first poke, poke a couple drainage holes, put some soil and some seeds, and you have a nice little plant pot. Um, if, you're just, if you just cut off the bottom, then just recycle that part because we don't need it um but we now have our bottle our getting our table all wet um we have our bottle and this is kind of sharp it's not super sharp um but that doesn't matter because we're going to be covering it um so just be a little careful at this point but it's not too bad um so now we have our fabric that comes in. If you're just using a sock, it's actually really easy. You just put it over the top and you want to stretch it nice and tight like that. And you can see my sock comes all the way up here. Um, if you use even a longer sock, it may come over your part up here. So you're just gonna fold it back a little bit and now we have it nice and tight right here and this part if you want to make it a little extra secure you can add your rubber band Oop. just like this and now it's not gonna slide off anywhere so if you're using a sock you're now ready to start making some bubbles
Um, I'm going to show also how to do it with a washcloth, and this is the same as if you're using an old t-shirt. Um, but if you're just using a sock, go ahead and skip to this time code that will show up on the screen now. Um, okay, so let's get to... Boop, boop. Okay, if you are using something like a washcloth or a old t-shirt, you could just do a similar thing of like we did with the sock, place it over and place your rubber band over. Shoop. Like this. And that works just as well, but it is a little floppy. With a t-shirt, you're gonna have a lot of extra material. Um, so what you can do is if it's a t-shirt you can cut up or a washcloth you can cut up, make sure you check with your parents, is just place your water bottle or your bottle here. Let me put it more center and frame. And you want a little bit of excess all the way around. And then you're just going to take your scissors and cut. Oops. Get this started. There we go. Boop and just cut a square around. Okay, so we now have a little mini washcloth. And then it's the same thing. Stick your water bottle in the middle and take your rubber band and rubber band it on. Shoop. And that's why this is why you want the excess is so that it has something to rubber band on. You can see I have it's not flat. We're just gonna pull that underneath our rubber band. Boop. And then just keep just a little bit. I probably should have added a little bit more excess, but now we have a nice flat up here part and but it's not so much so floppy around the edges. So now that we have this and this is uh, you can experiment with different fabrics. I haven't done this before so I don't know which fabric <laughs> works best but I've seen it both with washcloths and with socks. I'm sure it would also work just as well if you used an old t-shirt, um, but I don't know because I haven't tried it. Um, but now we're going to go outside and we're going to blow some bubbles. Um, the bubble solution, if you don't have normal bubble solution, um, you can just make your own with some dish, dish soap and some water. Um, just get a small bowl and do a nice big squeeze of dish soap and then fill the bowl with uh, like a half cup water or if it's just a small bowl just fill the bowl and then mix it up a little bit and then I'll go outside and show you how to use your bubble blower so see you guys outside so we're outside now it's very sunny um, but we have our bubble snake contraption and we have our bowl of soapy water if you have bubble solution you can use bubble solution this is just a good squeeze of dish soap and then some water and then mix it up a little bit. But all you're going to do is take your bubble snake contraption and dip it just a little bit in so that it gets some of the solution on your rag, fabric, whatever you have. And then you just blow in here. And we get bubble snakes. Oh, yeah. 
anyways so that's bubble snakes i hope you guys enjoyed this week's craft it's lots of fun uh and that's it i'll see you guys next week bye <laughs>